to clarity and closure of the viewers comments where I will take a selection of your comments and I will answer questions criticisms or just about you know anything that I might find interesting or think would be valuable in the overarching scenario of correct sentence structure communication parsing syntax grammar because as you know or may or may not know this is a correct sentence structure communication parsing syntax grammar oriented vessel the purpose and function of this channel is to teach correct sentence structure communication parsing syntax grammar the grammar mechanics as well as the psychological components therein and so that's the reason why i do these and i hope you enjoy welcome ladies and gentlemen once again to another clarity and closure of the viewer comments wherein i will choose a few of your comments critiques or questions and i'll answer them or address them or call those to the carpet who i feel require being called to the carpet now there is some troll activity in this video and there's going to be a grammar lesson at the end where i give closure once again in an abbreviated fashion to a concept that myself and full colon raven hyphen farhad hyphen tohidi colon efferin came up with years ago like three years ago which we could call quantum grammar shorthand and it is a shorthand an abbreviated form of correct sentence structure that maintains the integrity of the facts and does not void the mathematical interface the mathematical interface is intact when you use it and it involves a very specific sequencing of colons but i'll explain that at the end and you'll you'll see why i'm saying that right now so let's jump in first comment comes from someone named just p and it was a comment on the claim of the live light video which is actually a video that i published which is a clip of Colin David Ivan Wayne Colin Miller and Colin Russell Hyphen J. Colin Gould talking about the claim of the live life. And David literally saying to the audience and to the camera, do not send your live life claims to us. They're yours. Keep them. Right? And as we all know what happened later on when David passed away. Russell came in and tried to change that and tried to make people think that now they needed to send not only did they need to send their live life claims to him but that they could only use his live life claims and charge a fee for it well I don't think he charged a fee for it but his people did the people he authorized to sell them charged fees for them so a lot of work goes into I feel a lot of work goes into him separating himself from any accountability for any of those things that go on. But I digress. Be that as it may. I don't participate with that nonsense. It's all fiction to me. I promote and teach autonomy rather than authoritarianism. And I don't have anything to do with any of those people at all. And thank goodness for that. Anyways. Jason Matthew, does the color of ink matter when writing on the LLC, my name and the witness names, my birth date, location, details, etc.? And by the way they spell the word color, I'd have to say that they probably are located either in Asia, Europe, or England, perhaps. Um, just P. The ink, to me, serves a practical purpose. What's easiest to read? I know that some people do ascribe certain values or meanings to ink in the fiction. Like, for example, some people say that red represents the Rothschild household, or that the color red represents anger and war, or some people think red represents blood and life. It all depends. The value of a thing is what you ascribe to it. It's what you give to it. And if you choose to participate with those things, that's up to you. Me, I don't do that. Now, I will say, because we're on the topic of claiming the live life, that in the conversations that I was blessed to have with Colin David Ivan Wynn, Colin Miller, he once recommended to me not to use 
red color ink for my thumbprint. Reason being, he said, you don't want to give the fiction any reason to bother you or mess with you. And if you use red color ink, they might think it's blood and be a biohazard. So, you know, I agree with that. I took that to heart. But other than that, I mean, if you want to use whatever color ink you want to use, that's up to you. For me, it serves a very practical purpose. Like, for example, if I use black ink for my autograph, I will thumbprint over that with blue ink. Simply because if I thumbprint black ink with black ink, then you're not going to be able to read the name. The name's going to be illegible. Same thing using blue ink with, with, with a blue thumbprint. I'll use a different color thumbprint uh, if I use... You know, the thumbprints and the inks are two different colors. And that's about as deep as it goes for me. Whatever the fiction wants to say it is, that's up to them. But I give closure to what it is for me. And that just means for the ease of the communication and conveyance. Hope that helps. Next comment comes from Dylan's voice. That was pretty cool. Thanks. Most of it reads well to me, but you use the word location in relation to time. That surprised me a little bit. I don't have closure on this yet. In my mind, a location is a geographical place. Can you elaborate on your closure for this, please? Well, yes, location can be a geographical place, but that's not the only place for a location. Think about this. Think about the now space as like a linear line with different locations on it. All right. So if I tell you that uh, you and I have an appointment at 12 o'clock noon, that's a location. It's located right here on the timeline. It's not 3 o'clock. It's not 9 o'clock. It's 12 o'clock. It's all locations. And if you have the capacity and knowledge or vessel to travel to these locations, you can just as easily travel to a location in the past as you can a location in the future along that now space timeline. The same as you can travel from Los Angeles to New York to London to Antarctica, to Agartha, to wherever you want, to Beetlejuice, you just got to have the knowledge to do it again, it takes knowledge. So that's why I use the tilde as location for time locations, which time, of, of course, doesn't exist. And it's, uh, it's basically a cognition station along the continuum. Hope that helps. Next comment comes from David Lee Williams. Thank you for your straight correct comments. Is two letter I's at the end name correct when typing or texting the second or just like second? I didn't understand what this guy was talking about and I answered the comment uh, saying as much. Asked him to explain a little bit more but he never answered back or anything so I'll just answer it here and maybe he'll see it. I didn't understand what he was saying, but now I do. He's talking about, like, say, for example, if it's, you know, Jason Matthew Glass the first, and then my son's name is also Jason Matthew Glass, then that would be Jason Matthew Glass the second. So the way you would write that, or the way I would write that, for easy communication and simplicity, you know, be colon Jason Matthew, Matthew colon Glass, comma, space, tilde, and then you could use two Roman numeral I's, and then period, for the second to represent two or you could just put the number two with the tilde in front of it in a period if you want to either of those options you could also write out the word second s-e-c-o-n-d but of course the s-e would be a particle of negation but there are mechanics to use that where you can fix that if you want to especially if it's part of a name we use a little bit of the honor and the grace in there and if you want to use what you have here, like the 2ND, I mean, you could if you choose to, if that's a fact that you want to create on your own, but you would have to give closure to that in your contract dictionary so that whoever you're contracting with knows exactly what you mean when you put 2ND. And you would also have to put a tilde in front of it because it does denote a location because second is different than first or third or fourth. Next question comes from Saulo Campos. Does anyone knows what the hell happened to Mark and Sean Christopher? Haw's YouTube is down all if his videos are deleted. Yes, Salu, I gave uh, my perception of what happened to that guy's YouTube channel in a video 
which, if my editing team does their job, will appear up here somewhere right about now. Long story short, I think Mark was kicked off of YouTube because he was presenting too much inflammatory, non-certifiable BS. Next comment comes from Christos Nicholas. With you, this video look like so easy, the quantum grammar, but it is not. Thank you for the video. You're very welcome, Christos. I appreciate your comment. It's a matter of basically over 20,000 hours of study and performance, Christos, which I've done. I've been teaching this for five years. In the beginning, if you watch, uh, I've shared a video series about my journey into correct sentence structure, which again, if my editing team's on point, there'll be a, a link to it up here, where I talk about how difficult it was for me to learn the grammar. It took me at least a thousand hours until I could even use the grammar. I've been studying Parse and language since 1986. It's a passion of mine. I used to read, you know, poetry and prose all the time, thousands and thousands of books. Uh, I was an English major in college. I had to unlearn all that stuff to learn this stuff. So bottom line is, it doesn't matter if English is your first language, second language, third language. If you want to do something, my friend, you're going to do it. You're going to find a time to do it, and you're going to do it. And you'll find a way if it's something you, you really want to do. And this is just something that, you know, for me also, I felt like it was what I was born to do. It was like my calling to teach this, to know this, and to use this. And... That's what happened. Thanks for the comment. Next comment comes from Darren Genius of Patterns. Dude, this is insane knowledge. You've got such a knack for this teaching. Your detail is through the roof. Thanks for sharing. Well, thank you, Darren. I appreciate your kind words and I agree with you. I do have a knack for it. I'm very blessed in that way. I put a lot of hard work to become so, I mean, to become so proficient at this. Uh, it's been a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, and I appreciate you recognizing that. Thank you. With all humility. And then one of my favorite students, Peter Dean, says this content is gold. Great stuff. So helpful. Thank you, Peter, for your growing friendship, for your studentship, and for your comment and kind words. Next comment comes from another longtime subscriber, friend, and sometime student, Razvan. You've been blessed with a great memory, brother. I don't mind if you poker some fun at my lack thereof. Ah, okay, he's saying he doesn't have a memory. Well, Razvan, here's a little hint, and this go this is really really relevant to correct sentence structure. I keep records of everything. I have files on every individual I have ever communicated with in this domain in correct sentence structure. Anyone I've ever done a consultation with, a workshop with, I take copious notes and keep records of it. Every single thing, every email, everything. So that if I see a name or see something, I can look it up and I can refresh my memory. I take steps to ensure that I have memory safeguards, so to speak. You've told me before that I don't meet your expectations. I don't know if I've said it in that type of way. And if I did, I apologize, Razvan. I don't mean to be harsh. My volition, rather, is to was to express surprise that you have been studying this for so long and that you wouldn't know certain things. However, in hindsight, I think back and I think that what is probably happening is that if you are learning the grammar, you don't have closure on it, it hasn't clicked yet, but you're learning it. If you take a break, like if you don't study it for a day, two days, three days, four days, five days, 
you backslide. You lose a lot. It's like walking up a down escalator. If you're walking, if you're doing anything besides going forward, you're going backwards. If you're standing still, you're going backwards. In order to move forward, you have to keep walking. Correct sentence structure is the same way unless you get closure on it and it clicks in your head. And so that's what I think happens to you and, and some other individuals in that maybe they get frustrated or maybe life happens and they don't have the time to study, but they take time off and then they backslide and forget things. This is something, you know, you definitely have to be passionate about and motivated about and you have to do it every single day, whether it's for 30 minutes, an hour, whatever it is, if you want to learn it, if you're serious about learning it. If you feel like I'm lowering your standards, please tell me and I'll stop making comments. Please perish the thought, Rosvon. There is no lowering or raising standards. It's uh, all a geometric level playing field. I just ask that you observe etiquette. I'm in great debt to you already for all you've given on this channel. The least I can do, less I can do, is to not bug you with my nonsense. There's no bugging. No bugging at all. Thanks again. Much love and respect. Much love and respect to you too as well, my friend. Thank you for the comment and for the opportunity with all the humility. Peace. Ooh, and now we come on to the interesting part of the comments uh, video. The troll part. This is a comment on my video for the continuation of the Netherlands saga. And this is from someone named Keeper of the Keen Bean. Is, for the how goes, being a psychological warfare officer? They paying all right, or are they leaving you floundering around trying to make it off poor folks just looking for correctness, solutions, and truth? Okay, so I'm going to look at this as just an adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, plain English babble comment at first here, okay? Is for the how goes being a psychological warfare officer. So I think their volition is to accuse me of being a psychological warfare officer officer right off rip if you are a regular viewer of my youtube channel i've made it quite clear that i avoided all military contracts i have nothing to do with military anything i have the documents to prove it documents that have been certified by military individuals okay so right off rip. So either this individual is just flat out trolling or they're not aware of this and they don't watch my channel. They paying all right. So I guess they think that I'm employed by someone. <laughs> <laughs> or are they leaving you floundering around trying to make it off of poor folks? Oh, so this individual thinks that I'm charging people to learn correct sentence structure which is not true or correct because ladies and gentlemen there are over 400 videos on this youtube channel that i have invested thousands of hours in creating and it's all free to you to everyone to keep her the keen bean it's all free so now i know that they're full of bs just by that comment alone I mean, I don't know, does Keeper the Keen Bean have a Quantum Grammar YouTube channel where they teach the grammar? How many subscribers do they have? How many videos have they created? How many people have they taught? How long have they been studying? Well, judging by the first couple of lines there, I'd have to say they've probably been studying for less than 24 hours. But I mean, that's just an opinion. So looking for correctness, solutions, and truth, there are solutions all over this YouTube channel, Keen Bean. There's truth all over this YouTube channel and correctness as well, if you even know what that means. I'm going to address the correct sentence structure or quasi-correct sentence structure part of it in a little bit because when I replied to this comment, I did syntax his, com or his or her comment. And I feel like Keen Bean's a girl, so I'm just going to, I'm just going to call her a, a lady or a girl, whatever. That this girl said here, um, it's not correct sentence structure, as you can plainly see if you've studied my channel for a week it's pretty easy to see in any case i syntaxed their comment 
And I also made a remark to them that something like they were too poor to pay attention to the over 400 videos on my YouTube channel. And this is how they responded. They said, you don't know about the shorthand quantum question mark. Now, first of all, and I noticed this in the other comment, do you see how they're putting the AB in brackets? If you've already put your whole ass comment in a bracket, why would you put more brackets in? Why would you do that? <laughs> it's pretty funny. But anyways, I guess that this lady is saying that I don't know about shorthand quantum and that that is what their comment was. Well, let's see. Is it really quantum grammar? Or is it not? Here's the comment. Is for the how goes being a psychological warfare officer. So we have is, which is a two, it's a verb. Then we have a cause for the how goes. Now, how hyphen goes, I mean, what in the heck is that? How is how and goes a fact? I wonder what the finite means for those words are in Keen Bean's little dictionary. Be that as it may, thematically and structurally, in asking a correct sentence structure, this is correct. If you're asking a question, is, and then you have the cause, and then you have the lodial the, and then how hyphen goes would be, however precarious, it would take the place of a fact. But then we have this word being. What is that doing there? Is being serving the function of a positional? Is for the how goes being a psychological warfare officer. Going backwards, how would that even work? What is the opposite of being? So the opposite of being is non-existence. If we try to read this backwards, it would be non-existence, a psychological warfare, by the how goes. Is non-existent a psychological warfare officer by the how goes. Does that make any sense to you, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> Not to mention that if you're going to put a verb in a correct sentence structure, it has to have at least four positional lodial fact phrases. Two before the verb and two after the verb. It's pretty simple. So we have adjective is, coloring for into a pronoun, adverb the, modifying how goes into an adjective, which is coloring being into a pronoun, a is an adverb, which is modifying psychological warfare officer into a dangling participle verb. Not correct sentence structure at all. And now I will give you a solution, as I do in every video, as to how to write in quantum grammar shorthand, which I have done multiple videos on. This is a concept that full colon Raven hyphen Farhad hyphen Tohidi colon Afarin and myself came up with a few years ago. It does maintain the integrity of the grammar. It does have positional, uh, correct positional sequencing and correct placement of the verb. And I'll show you right now how that works. So we have for the claim of the facts is with the knowledge by the claimant. And in backwards, that is, for the claimant of the knowledge is with the facts by the claim. So as you see here, for the claim of the facts is with the knowledge by the claimant. And the colons represent position lodial phrases for the claim of the facts is with the knowledge by the claimant. It says the same thing. And then backwards, that would be for the claimant of the knowledge is with the facts by the claim. For the claimant of the knowledge is with the facts by the claim. For the claimant of the knowledge is with the facts by the claim. Notice, there's no space between the colon and the C and claim, or the colon and the C and claimant. That is because that represents for the and by the, respectively. 
And when you do the mathematical interface, that's how it works. In other words, one plus two equals three, three minus two equals one. Same thing. That is correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, shorthand, mathematically certified, forwards and backwards. This is not. <laughs> so to get back to this, or the fact that the correct sentence, communication, parsing, whoa, keen bean, ma'am, the name of the technology is correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, unless you're talking about something totally different. Maybe they, maybe she is. Is a copyrighted technology which a certain someone has original claim to. Well, for the proof of the claim is with the claimant. If someone's going to claim a copyright on a grammar technology, they first have to prove that they know how to use said grammar and have closure on said grammar. And if the contract for the copyrights of said grammar is not correct, if it has mistakes all over it, so how can, how can that even work? I.e., I have yet to see a correct copyright claim for the flag or for the grammar. And I can prove that. And I have proven it. Do you not see the construct for what it is? There are so many people out there that if they had authorizations would use the grammar for screwy non-countable purposes and would leave a lot of people off the hook for their clear and blatant wrongdoing in the public. Well, that's not true at all. And then this person just keeps adding up and giving evidence that they don't know the first thing about quantum grammar or how it works. It cannot be used for malicious purposes and succeed. I've never seen it happen. Anyone who tells you that, I think, by my perception, is just trying to fear monger and probably make money. The grammar, the corporate structure, and the paradigm of communication positive creation needs to be safeguarded. The grammar technology itself is pure. It safeguards itself. Just like the truth, like you say, the truth doesn't need to be defended. The truth is its own defense. It's the same thing because this is a grammar of facts. It doesn't need you or anyone else to defend it or safeguard it because it is so potent and powerful, it defends itself. And again, if someone's trying to convince you or has convinced you otherwise, they probably want something from you or, or you know, they probably want you to well, whatever. You know what I'm trying to say, I think. I know you say something to the rough stent of authority is derived from knowledge, ability to apply the knowledge, but the ability to share that knowledge responsibly for the sake of being of service to others so that those being educated don't get themselves into any of the harvesting traps of the fiction and they comprehend the facts of the bankruptcy timelines. The bankruptcy timelines are fiction. It has to do with the fiction. If you, Keen Bean, if you want to participate with those types of things, well, then you're definitely in the right place. You know, bending the knee to Russell and following him around with his cult, because that's definitely full-fledged fiction, and you're proving that right now. David Miller, the grammar, history, Russell Gould, the postal treaties, the construct that he substantiated, Monty Mueller's histories are what they are. Yeah. They are what they are, Keen Beaner. They're fiction. <laughs> fiction. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining me for this comments video. I would like to address the Keen Beaner once more in that I would just like to ask, why would such an individual come on to this YouTube channel? taking the position that they took. What is the point? I've been doing this for five years, okay? I have closure on the grammar. I have over 400 videos on here. 
I've definitely, definitely stated my position, who I am and what it is that I do. Keen Beaner comes on here with no visual credentialing, no correct name, nothing like that, just yap, yap, yapping like the fiction does, basically parroting what all of those people do from the Red Thumb Club, the Quantum Community, the Syntax Learning Center, blah, 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 whatever they're called this week or next week. All the same BS story that they've been talking for years and years and years and years. Whatever they're doing, I mean, whatever, has nothing to do with me or this channel. So it just makes me wonder why this individual would come here and do that. Because this channel is for people who want to learn grammar. So maybe the mysterious Keen Beaner, maybe she wants to learn the grammar. Because she obviously doesn't know the first thing about it. So Keen Beaner, if you are too poor to pay attention, I highly recommend making some investments in that area so that you increase your attention span so that you can start studying these 400 videos. Or you can contact me at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com and I will schedule you a 10 to 15 minute brief video consultation where we will establish a geometric level playing field of communication. And you can look at me and I can look at you eye to eye. You can say whatever you need to say to me. You can ask me whatever you need to ask me about the grammar because you obviously have some doubts in your mind. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here saying what you're saying. Long story short, I think King Beaner has some doubts about their hero. And that's why they're here. So that's why I kind of treated them with kid gloves. Because I don't really want to scare them off. I would like them to contact me so that we could have a conversation. Because I'm always open to teaching those who are open to learn. And I'm also open to learning myself. Unfortunately, King Beaner didn't really show me anything uh, that they were teaching. Just the same blah, 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 bullshit fiction uh, stuff that those people have been spouting for years. Um, and hey, they believe it wholeheartedly, so I give them props for that. If any of you out there want to learn the grammar, feel free to contact me at the email address below, and I'll do the same thing for you. Set up a t 10 to 15 minute con uh, video consultation where you can ask me any questions, I'll, and I can ask you questions, and we'll see if this is what you're motivated to do. You can study this YouTube channel. You can become a member. Hit the join button. There are two tiers. I appreciate any support that you give me on here. And again, if you have any comments or critiques about this particular video or the way I convey what I'm saying, feel free. I am open to critique and I'm open to adjusting or correcting anything that needs to be correct. As long as I am approached with honor, grace, peace, neutrality, rule one, rule equal. Thanks. Salud.